Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting work using your path. In today's session, we're going to discuss about couple of activities in Action Center, which is nothing but create form task and wait for form task and resume. So we are going to create a form in Action Center and we are going to approve from other and we are going to get a result in your path studio. So let us take this HR approval form as an example. So we can create a form from the UUI Pass Studio so that the task will be created in Action Center. We can go there and we can accept that particular task and we can reject so based upon our claimed amount. Let me quickly jump back to the UUI Pass Studio and start our today's session. So already we have created a process. Let me check for task. So before the task, so we have to provide some input, right? So for that we can use an input dialog box to enter our input. Let me check for input dialog box. Yeah, so we have already here. Let me drag the and drop. So we have to keep some title. So what actually this input dialog box will do? So it will ask the input from the user. So we have to enter our input over here. Let me provide a title for this one. So it can be anything. So let me keep it as HRE. And then label, double quotes, let me copy and paste this one. So typing it will take time, that's why I just made it uh, ready made. So just make a control K and then make it as amount. So I just going to, uh, what I was going to do here, so I was going to enter an amount over here. Okay, so based upon this particular action, so it will create an, a task in the action center and we can go over there and we can approve or reject based upon our actions. So let me change the variable of this one. So as I said amount, so it should be integer. Let me change it as integer, perfect. So till now we have created a input dialog box where it will get our user input. So let me go to the action center tasks. Let me take type for task. So here we have a couple of activities. Today we are going to discuss about create form task and wait for a uh, wait for form task and resume. Yeah. So let me drag and drop this create form task. So here we can create what are the title we needed for particular this form. So let me make the title as our HRE approval form. And then, so task priority, so we can set this actually. So we can set to high, medium, and the priority which we have discussed previously. So we can make the priorities. So as of now, so we don't need to change anything here. So task catalogs, which help you to categorize your particular task. So for task, some task will be for a claim, for some for HRA, some for ATC, likewise. So we can categorize the task which has been created in an action center. So once we have started creating more tasks, so we can check on this uh, task catalog, so it will be useful for us. So here, form data. So what are the data which we are going to pass and what are the data we are going to get back from the form? So we have to set it here actually. So let me click on these three dots. So here we have to pass our parameters, so which is seen. So you are going to pass your data, which is you are getting from an input dialog box which is nothing but in amount and then just try to change your data type which is int and then copy your variable which you are created in the input data box and then so we are going to create a one more variable which is nothing but out approved amount so the candidate will be uh, like they will be posting some amount right so what the amount they actually need but the uh, HRA team who are who are approving those claims they should have some certain amount that they can claim, correct? That they can approve actually. So we are going to get this as an output as well. So let me make it as out direction. Since we are getting from the form, the data which you are getting from the form, so I just marked as an out. And this is also will be an integer. So let me control K. So we are going to create this variable. So this is not created before. So let me make it as approved amount. Perfect, right? So uh, this array will be gone. So once you click on OK, just click on OK. Perfect. Just click on Save As. So now we have passed our input parameter and the parameter which you are going to get from the form, right? So let me click on Open User Form. So let me wait for the form to get loaded. 
or form got loaded so we can change the names which actually we needed here so let me maximize this first of all so we can change the labels according to our wish and we can add uh, like uh, buttons like a tick box so we can design actually as per our wish actually so what i was going to do here let me click on edit let me try to change the label actually so which is hra amount then click on save so before saving let me uh, walk through different different panels which it has to so display data so where we are going to make this particular data as so a required data or not required so it's a mandatory data so those things we can make here actually validation so if you are clicked here so this data will be marked as a valid uh, sorry required one so without uh, like submitting this data no one can click on submit options so likewise you can use this validation options and uh, key field so key field is nothing but the value so it will store the value which you are going to pass from the input dialog box this is a particular property name which you are going to support and store the value which you are processing from the input dialog box and the condition so we can make your condition as well logical condition you can apply over there so we can check this part so condition logic bit later let me click on save let me rename this out approval as well let me make it as hra approved amount sorry approved amount yeah so a same actually so the data and the validation so if you mark this one this will be a mandatory field without marking this field you cannot able to submit your form so yeah key field so which is nothing but so this is a particular variable where it is going to store the value which are going to pass in the user form so we are going to pass this value from the form and we are get, going to get this value into the studio now okay so initially the variable which i have shown previously so we are going to pass from the input dialog box and we are going to get to the action center so but this one so we are going to pass the value from the input center from the input center to here we are going to get here in the sense we are pass studio so let me click on save and we can create uh, two kind of buttons let me rename this as a uh, approved let me click on edit let me name as approve we can say so here we have only one button right so what you can do we can drag and drop this one more button actually and we can name it as reject perfect right just click on save so i guess we have designed our form right so we have a hra amounts which will be entered by the user and this hra amo approved amounts will be entered by the hra team so that will they will be uh, putting the only uh, selected amount they can approve and they will approve or reject based upon this particular amount which is filled by the candidate so let me save this form if you want to preview you can click on preview and you can check the form here itself so this will be the preview of the form let me exit let me save this and let me close this one now so you have created your form now yeah which is cool now so let me go here make a control k so that you can pass the value to the next action which is nothing but wait for a form task and resume so which is control k and task object let me name it as task object perfect so this create form task which help you to create the form so what is the use of your the uh, wait form uh, task actually so what is the main purpose of this one so this particular wait form task will help you to wait until unless the business user has taken an action on the particular task so you can check here actually so wait form task will wait until the end user or business uh, user to validate the form and approve it so let me go back to the uipa studio so what i can go so you can pass this particular variable task input which you are getting from the create form so which is task object and the same thing need to be passed over here in the output as well perfect so the task action so which you have to create so what the task action will capture actually so the task action will capture whether you are going to approve this claim or reject this claim so those particular actions will be recorded under this particular task action let me make a control k make it as task underscore action yeah perfect right so till now what you have done so we have made a input dialog box which is used to get the uh, like input value of the hra amount from the uh, like candidate and then so create form task will help you to create a form and it will store the values 
so where the business is going to validate those and they're going to approve or reject based upon the HR amount which is populated by the candidate. So what we can do one more step as so we can drag an if condition here. Let me drag here, drop the if condition. Let me go here, make let me call the task action dot equals. Let me make in double quotes. Let me mark it as reject, okay? Or you can use is uproot. Anything is fine, okay? So if it is reject, then what are the message you are going to put for this one? If it is uproot, what are the message you are going to for put this one? So let me make it as very simple. Okay. Let me maximize this one kindly. Enter the valid. Kindly enter the okay. Let me name it simple. Let me kindly enter enter the approved HRA amount. Perfect, right? So we can advise them with the uh, like claim amount which can they can claim. So let me call this variable which is nothing but approved amount so what you have done here so kindly enter the approved HRA amount so if the particular request got rejected so they will understand so this is the only amount they have to enter if they are entering exceed from this one then the like uh, HRA status will be rejected automatically so why we are getting error so this is a integer right so we have to make it as dot two string perfect yeah and then for this one so it will be approved right so your hr is approved where hr is approved perfect let me mark it in double quotes your hr is approved yeah so if it is not rejected it will be approved right so that's why i just made a simple note your hr is approved yeah perfect right so let me save this one and let me run this one now Let me wait for some times so that it will be asking the input from us. So it was asking the HR amount. So what actually we needed. So let me enter 7000. Okay. Or let me enter uh, wrong scenarios 9000. So I have entered 9000 value. So here you can see task created with ID. So this might be the ID which is created in the action center. Okay. So what we can do? So let me go to the action center and let me check whether the task has been created or not. Let me click on this UI path cloud services. So our UI path service got loaded now. So let me click on more. Let me go to the actions now. Yeah, our action center got loaded now. So let me click on this unassigned task. So you can see the task is in unassigned state. So what are the main things so we have to carry out here? So you cannot make any action when the task is unassigned. So what you have to do, so you have to assign to someone. After that only we can uh, make work on the task actually. So let me assign this task. Let me click on the three dots, assign to myself. So once I assign, so it will move to the pending state, right? So in pending state, which is in my bucket actually. So what I can do, so I can see here that the candidate has been filled with the 9000 amount. So if I want to give the approved amount, so I have to enter the approved amount and I have to make a approve or reject one. Okay. So let me give, so 7000 is an approved amount. Okay. So I was going to reject this one. So let me make a complete hold here. Okay. Once I complete, let me switch back to the UI path studio. So what I will do here, I will resume the task now. Okay, so it went to the suspend state. What I will do now? So I will just resume the task. So here you can see the execution has been suspended and is waiting for the external event to complete. Let me resume this one. Let me wait for some time so that it will move to this. Then condition it will throw this particular message for us.
so here you can see right so it got rejected so that since it is rejected it came to the then section and it is shown the message so kindly enter the approved hra amount 7000 so what actually the candidate will do and the next time when they are applying they will be up applying for only 7000 amount so not for a 9000 amount so let me do for a right scenario now let me save and let me run once again and you can go with the correct scenario now so it is asking for a dialog box so let me approve let me put 7000 only so i just clicked on ok let's wait for some time so the task will be created so here you can see task is created with the id this particular id number and you can see here something called a suspended right so that's what we are speaking previously so which will be make this it will be marked as a suspended so we have spoke here right so the action will be suspended the particular task has been created and it is waiting for an external event to happen let me go here i'll make a refresh so here you can see one more task has been created in hra approval form which is an unassigned let me assign to myself so that i can work on that one so what i'll do here so my hra amount will be 7000 so i'm going to approve this one okay let me click on approve let me complete this one so let me go ahead to this UI pass studio let me click on resume now so let's wait for the next action so it will move to the else part yeah see here you can see right so your hr is approved so why it is approved so the amount which i entered and the hra team also will be have the same amount as approving and they have approved it so that's why we have end up with this particular message your hr is approved so likewise so you can apply this particular concept in a ml model when the confidence score is very less so you can create a task so you can make a if condition in this pre only so you can make a uh, if condition based upon your confidence so you have going to create a task during those scenarios the business team will uh, go there and they will review the particular task and they will be approving those things when they approved with the help of upload ml activities so you can upload this particular data which has been approved by the business team as a spreadsheet into the trained model so that it can be retrained once again so likewise you can make use of this action center task in the multiple ways so i hope you are uh, like the video thanks for watching happy learning have a good day